Have you ever been playing the hit 2002 release, The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind? even though it's set on the island of Vardenfell and not the mainland itself. I've been walking through the bitter coast swamps when all of a sudden a pesky Bosmer suddenly falls from the sky and you wonder to yourself, can I talk to this guy? Figure out his story? No? Well, I have. And thanks to fan favorite Mickey D, I've decided to try and save this little guy from his own hubris. Welcome to the channel, Ghouls and Goblins. I'm Super Nellies, and thanks to a video I saw from Mickey D from a couple years ago, I decided to try and give it a go myself of saving Tar Heel from his Akarian fate. See what I did there? Did you? True Morrowind fans know Tar Heel has three scrolls of Akarian flight on him that fortify your acrobatic skill by a thousand, but only for seven seconds. So they kind of guarantee that you'll fly too close to the sun, much like that petulant child of Dejulus. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, yeah, so let's uh, let's go and try and save Tar Heel. You know, I, I do want to say, um, you know, this, is, this isn't anything crazy special. Um, it's totally doable. Both Mickey D did this like two years ago. This is where I'm getting the inspiration from. Um, and the, even the Elder Scrolls UESP um, wiki page says like, yeah, you can save Tar Heel with a, you know, a good enough uh, slow fall spell, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this this challenge is totally possible, um, but I wanted to like add a little, you know, a yoink and twist, as Ludwig would say. And so I've gone ahead and uh, created this, turned this into a bit of a speed run, a speed run attempt, um, or a meme run, if you will. So this is the uh, official Tar Heel percent um run i don't know anyone else running this officially if this if it does catch on god forbid if this catches on please don't catch on please let me have this <laughs> i will be the world record holder but i'm sure it would get crushed by any true speed runners um so without uh further ado let's get into it let's save tar heel and then i got another idea that i might include at the end of this video depending on how uh, long it takes hey jib is it jib or jib i don't even know it's see that's his name, but um, I always say Jib. Uh, our name is Tar Heel, but it's going to be in reverse. So that is. I think it's Layrat, something like that. That looks about right. Not even last night's I before E except after C, unless it's in Tar Heel and reversed. I'm sure let us go. <laughs> that's that's the, the mnemonic. Uh, I don't even know what, what the term is for when you create a rhyme to remember. All right, so start split. Last time, I, actually, this is a re-recording attempt of a re-recording. Uh, I never captured the game audio, so hopefully the game audio is capturing. Um, the last time I did this, I didn't even start the splits the first time I ran, and then I had to re-record when I realized the splits were not running, so we're off the boat. Oh, perfect, we got a good start. We did not get weirdly stopped. <laughs> there was a point where we just literally just stopped. Uh, we're going to go Breton. Uh, that's it. So let's go get into the store, not the store, uh, the census office. Talk to Secucius. I always stand back here. Oh, wait, I just have to turn around and grab it. You'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Uh, pick the class tool. I want mage. That's just to get the alteration bonus. Um, basically, two things you need for the alteration is to cast slow fall and also to have water walking at the very beginning of the game. Then I go with steed just to have that speed bonus so that we go a little faster. And speed does impact our fatigue, so. Yeah, it's all good. I'm not even looking. Oops. Mm. And we stole it. So there's the Limer Platter. Perfect. Okay, so what's next on the list? We gotta go grab the ring. Did I close the door? Perfect, I did. Hey, buh, 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 buh. I'm just grabbing everything that's like not laid down. Uh, like there, it's not uh, a specific amount of money, but like having over helps. This is a good one. Oh, we got that little bit of gold. Tomorrow in duties, say goodbye. So we got the ring, we left. Give Fargoth the ring because, you know, he needs it. He's a little whiny boy, but we love him. I don't know, do we love Fargoth? I know he's a bit of a meme. Fargoth's ring is a meme in the Morrowind community. But do we love Fargoth or do we hate Fargoth? Uh, so we get a barter. Boom. All 
All right, then what am I doing? I'm grabbing one scroll of Alms of the Intervention, one scroll of Vigor, and then we hit Offer. We say goodbye. That's our trade, so we did our split. And then we cast the Water Walking. Um, and again, this is why you take the Alteration. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't... If you don't have a high enough alteration, you will not start with the spell, but depending on which skills you have at certain levels, you actually start with certain spells. Um, alteration at, I think, 30 or 35, you get the, the water walking. So this allows us to go to the tax man the fastest way. Um, then I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this ready. Hit take all. There's tax man. We go back. What well, we're at three minutes. This feels slow. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, all right, Mage's Guild. And now we just got to go to Sadrith Mora and get... Slow fall. There it is. I don't even know how much gold we have left. We should have just enough to make the our heals net. I'm just going to do slow fall. Targets. Magnitude of one. I'm going to do six seconds. 55 gold. Say goodbye. Let's Boom. Yes, what is it? And then... Oh, I misspelled tar heals net. <laughs> that's gonna bother me on this I'm a little nitpicky on how I type my spells out but I have a really bad habit of like constantly um constantly holding shift a little too long oh I didn't even hit type get net okay our pace is pretty good Get travel, go to Sidonine. Load. And there we go. Okay. So I just that that scroll of vigor keeps our rest or like our, our fatigue up. Like I can basically fully sprint and I'll be at a hundred fatigue. Jumping you don't wanna do go crazy, but jumping does I feel like jumping makes you move faster. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Does jumping actually make you faster? Or does it just feel like you're faster because you're hopping through the air? I know if you have a high enough acrobatic, say the scroll of a Cardian Flight, um, it does like zoom, but. Alright, and here's the moment of truth. Do we have. Ah, we did it. We saved him. Is that not it? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I've messed up my splits, but we still saved them. Um, yeah, not bad. 547. Um, definitely not my fastest in attempt, but I've recorded this. It's going to go on the internet, and uh, there you go. That's the world record. 547 <laughs> world record pace. Um, you seen it here, folks. Uh, <laughs> you seen it here, folks. Um, Our heal only has five health, so don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That was that. Um, the other thing I want to do, um, I want to try and talk to him, right? That was something else I wanted to do. I wanted to go um, and see if we could just, like, get enough speed to get to him and talk to him before he dies. I've done it in, like, random playthroughs, but I never remember the exact parameters. So, I just think it's funny there you go. to see if we can do it. Dreaming. What's your name? Our name is Speedster McQuack. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached more. I really do wish there was more. I'm sure there's mods that like allow you to like actually interact with Tar Heel. I don't know. Quiet. But here comes the guy. This is where you get off. Come with me. I wish there was more, because he's technically, 
He has the uh, class of an enchanter, and he can repair equipment. But he only has five health, right? So it's just funny that if you do save him. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock, and I'll show you to the census office. Like, you can't even interact with him. Wow, my brain. My brain just, like, shut down for a second. Um, In this case, what are we going to do? So the options, I, I'm thinking there's a... Obviously, resist magica, 50%. Uh, that's going to be very useful because I want to get the boots of blinding speed. But does orcs... Orcs have 25%. And they technically walk slightly faster. Um, but in this case, I guess Breton is still the option to go with. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish... Yeah, if you weren't aware, I'm, I'm going for getting the boots of blinding speed. Um... Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before because they should in theory give me enough speed that i can walk i can beat him spawning in and falling which typically isn't something you can do at level one uh so i'm gonna fill out the forms myself i am gonna make a custom class we're just gonna call it the speedster uh because we gotta go fast uh i will stick with combat just to get that bonus five bonus to athletics major skill will be athletics um restoration and then uh, I will take Blunt uh, just because uh, fuck, acrobatics. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, and then, yeah, sure. Um, willpower. Uh, and I don't care about the, the end skills. We're just class description. Gotta go fast. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a... Not that I care about swearing on my channel, but, you know, I'm sure YouTube cares about swearing on my channel. Um, but put it, put it, leave a comment down below if you care about swearing on my channel. <laughs> not that I, not that I care. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, we will take the platter, as always, um... Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullis Gratis. So, in this case, I don't really care about, like, you know, stealing everything. He then proceeds to steal everything in the room. Um, also, I don't even need... Greetings and salutations. Oh, and before I go trade with Ariel, I'm gonna go grab the uh, iron shard, the iron shard axe. It literally, when you say shard axe, it does sound like shard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Todd. Oh, there it is. Boom. I love, I, that's the thing I love about Morrowind, is like, there's so many like little hidden items that, you know, everyone's like, oh yeah, here, you do this, and you do this, you, you steal the limeware platter, and it's worth 650 gold, why can't I jump on this rock? There we go. <laughs> you steal the limeware platter, it's worth 650 gold, and you sell it to Ariel, and that way you get a nice starting bonus. Alright, like, there's all these little tips that we've all just kind of like, figured out, or there's the, the key in, uh, what's his face's room. That if you steal it, it allows you to get into the warehouse where there's a bunch of moon sugar and skooma and, like, heavy armor. Um, so, again, there's just, like, some good things. I'm just... Do, do, do. Uh, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. Perfect. Um, do I need... Alms of the Intervention? Not really. But I'm going to take it. Because... It's fast. Right? <coughs> Sorry, I just had a cough. Um, do I need this? I'm not, like, I'm not trying to go fast. Go fast. I can literally just cut all this out of the video and just, like, you know, you, you don't see half of it. Alright, I can't, I can't even kill a mud crab. What the heck? I can't believe I couldn't even kill that mud crab, man. Anyways, we're now, uh, we're just heading to Balmora. There's not much I need here. There is a spell I'm going to quickly pick up. And I think I think it's like 300 gold or less. So that is kind of why 
Um, you need it. You do need a little bit of gold. Talk to this orc. Uh, she offers the spell Strong Resist Magicka. Beautiful. That's all we need. It's 219 gold. Uh, probably a little bit cheaper if you join the Mage's Guild, but I'm not joining the Mage's Guild. Um, and I just need to talk to Estirdalin. Is that how you say your name? Est Estirdalin. Uh, and then we do a Resist Magicka on Self. Magnitude of 50 for two seconds. 81% chance to cast. There's our curse. Wow, I can't even spell. Curse Breaker. 115 gold. So in total, you need like 350 gold to uh, equip. As, as a Breton, equip the Boots of Blinding Speed. So now we're going to head to trap uh, Caldera. Um, is anyone here? Like, I kind of feel like I need, I don't need my, I need, I'll just restore my fatigue when I get there by resting for like five seconds. And by five seconds, I mean, I will literally hit ret, uh, wait one hour. <laughs> we will wait one in game hour once we get to uh Pemenini. Um, and yeah, in Pemenini, uh, you know, for those who aren't in the know, who don't know about the Boots of Blinding Speed, she is a Red Guard uh, quest. There's a quest involved with escorting her to Narmok. Um, you don't have to do it to get the Boots of Blinding Speed. Um, she has them equipped, so if you kill her, she'll just have them. Uh, but she's hanging out just kind of like north, uh, northwest of Caldera, a little bit past the uh, the Naked Nord over here. Hello. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? So yeah, once you pass the naked nord, if you want to find Pemeni, you've never found her before. Uh, well, here, here's how to find the boots of blind speed. You're gonna head past this, past these signs over here. And you keep going, and then uh, you should just see her shortly wandering about in this region i think that's her oh there she is there she is and as you can see she's got a pretty quick jaunt because of uh the boots of bond speed she's got equipped so i'm just gonna hit here hit uh like literally rest one hour and then uh hey pemeni pemeni hey she's got she's fast <laughs> I'm not giving up that easy. There we go. <laughs> and, you know, combat's not... I didn't make a character who's, like, super combat-focused. Just switch clothes real quick. Don't worry, I won't leave a naked body. Um, is this one better? This is chop 120, that's 1 to 32. Yeah, no, this is this is just a far superior axe. Um, though this one sells for 125, that one only sells for 120. I think this is a one-handed axe. Yeah, okay. Actually, the steel viper axe is probably a little bit better. But hey, um, so yeah, now uh, we equip our curse breaker and we cast it. So we should have the 50% and 50%, which gives us 100%. Uh, and so now when you look at it, that blind effect, it's going to be gone. Won't even be here. So let's equip that. Bada boom, bada bing. And there we go. <laughs> Off to the races. Uh, so I will see you guys in Sedanine. Because <laughs> you don't need to watch me travel all the way back. And through the magic of editing, we will be in Sedanine. All right, so we're in Sedanine now, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna try and get to uh, see if we can get to far uh, not far off the Tar Heel, the the falling Bosmar. Wow, that was a weird Bosmar, not Bosmar, <laughs> the falling Bosmar. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if we can. Yeah, I'm already moving so fast. I know. Oh, and that's something new. Apparently, if you are, like, right under him, he won't land. I, I do want to talk about it. All right, well, um, if I move, you will die.
poor guy anyways uh yeah so thank you for watching i uh i hope you liked the video i enjoyed making it um i have a bunch of other videos that i'm going to be doing on oh this guy wants a fight Yeah, don't, don't fight Speedster McQuack, okay? Um, but yeah, as I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted before, from that Quama Forger. Um, by that Quama Forger. God, I can't speak. Um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment if you did. Let me know if there's any other goofy things you want to see from Morrowind. I'd be happy to try it out. Um, but I do have some other uh, videos in the works on Morrowind. A couple other stuff coming out. Um... I, like I said, I, I love this game. I've been playing it since 2002 um, or 2003, depending. I don't know. Um, but I love this game. It's one of my favorites. It's 21 years old now. This game is legally old enough to drink uh, <laughs> in many countries. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope you like it. I hope you uh, like the, the work I'm doing. Um, and if you do, leave a like, leave a comment. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more Morrowind hijinks. Uh, but I'm Super Nice, and I am taking off. Ta-ta!